it's cold outside and the RV furnace is not working, a lot of times this problem is a sail switch in the furnace. Let me go through the symptoms and show you what's wrong. So as an RV owner, you can troubleshoot it to figure out what the problem is. And we're inside of the thermostat. This is a Dometic brand. So if you hit the up arrow and it doesn't turn on at all, we have to do a cycle of thermostat, turn it off for a couple seconds, then turn it back on, go into heat mode. And once your thermostat is on, what should happen in normal operation, the fan kicks on, runs for about 25 seconds, it starts to flame and you get heat inside the RV. If that's not happening, we'll make sure propane tanks are full so there's plenty of pressure to the furnace. And then if it runs for around 90 seconds and shuts off altogether, look on the furnace for the error code. There'll be flashing lights coming off the circuit board. I can see the error code lights by looking at the furnace. They shine toward the top of it with one light flashing for one second. It means there's an airflow fault, which normally means it's a sail switch. Sometimes the hardest thing about changing a simple sail switch is getting to the furnace. And a lot of new RVs, especially fifth wheels, they have the furnace buried in the basement. All there is is an exhaust duct. So this one I was able to pull it loose and get to it. And your sail switch is this piece right here. And then the other side over here is the reset switch. So I was able to pull it out without having to disconnect the propane or any power. And so I can test the sail switch and see if that's working or not. Here's a real easy way to test if your sail switch is bad or not. So the sail switch has to be an open circuit to start with, which will mean disconnected. So I pulled the two wires off the sail switch. I have a fuse right here, plugged into one wire. And I flip off the switch in the furnace. So we'll flip this on, the furnace will run. And after a couple seconds, I'll connect the fuse. And once the fuse is in there, it should go into ignition cycle. There it goes. So right now it's trying to light, the gas is off, so it's not going to light, but now we know the sales is bad. Okay, new sales switch is replaced. We will turn on the switch over here. It should run for about 15-20 seconds and then go into ignition. There we go. I heard the gas valve click in and I heard the igniter ignite. So now let's put it back in, turn the gas back on, and make sure everything fires. <laughs>